Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, and I'm here to do the A to Z of Queer Lit Challenge Part 8. I only put out Part 7 a little while ago because I kind of built up a bunch of queer books and they all just kind of fit in this list, so I figured I might as well do this one now. If you've missed any of the videos in this series, they're all linked in a playlist down below. The concept of this challenge is easy. You take every letter in the alphabet and you recommend a queer book that has that letter either in the title or in the author's name. Last time I came up with speed recommendations ahead of time using buzzwords. This time I'm going to go through the list but give you my speed recommendations on the spot. This means I'm probably not going to be communicating in complete sentences. I'm probably just going to throw a couple of words at the camera and then move on to the next recommendation. First we have This Town Sleeps by Dennis E. Staples. This one has murder, somebody in the closet, and indigenous characters. Next we have Trans Wizard Harriet Porber and the Bad Boy Parasaurol Office by Chuck Tingle. This one is a comedy romance take on characters you might recognize, but way better because funnier. Next we have Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, which features a ghost that just won't go away. Next we have Hideous Beauty by William Hussey, which has coming out grief and a mystery. Next we have Bury the Lead by Gabby Dunn, which has beautiful artwork. Next we have Fun Home by Alison Bechdel, which is a graphic novel memoir. Next we have Holy Wild by Gwen Benaway. This is indigenous and trans and poetry. Next we have Almost Human by Ari North, which is sapphic, sweet, and a graphic novel. Next we have Dead Air by Nino Cipri, which was published in Nightmare Magazine and has a wonderful podcast version of it on their website, which is really fun to listen to. Interview style format, creepy things. Next we have Fire Song by Adam Garnett Jones, which is grief, family troubles, in the closet. Next we have Darius the Great Deserves Better by Adib Karam. This one has boyfriend troubles, this one has racism, this one has family, this one has everything. Next we have The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. West Coast witchy vibes. Next we have Depart Depart by Sim Kern. This one has Jewish mythos as well as a trans main character as well as a disaster. Next we have No Man of Woman Born by Anna Mardell, which is a collection of NB short stories. Next we have Loveless by Alice Oseman, which is an ace arrow coming out story that has so much to do with friendship. Next we have Perfectly Preventable Deaths by Deirdre Sullivan, which is Irish and creepy and smart small town. Next we have Gears for Queers by Abigail Melton and Lilith Cooper, which is non-fiction, bike ride, trouble ensues. Next we have Kim Greeper Grim Beginnings by Sarah Gailey, which is college and sapphic and grim reaper. Next we have The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried by Sean David Hutchinson, Friend Breakup, Death, Coming Back from the Dead. Next we have Pulp by Robin Tolley, lesbian pulp novels and retellings of them. Next we have To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers and the best way to sum this up is Queers in Space. Next we have Only Mostly Devastated by Sophie Gonzalez, this is a Greece retelling that is a male-male romance set in current day. Next we have We Have Always Been Here by Samra Habib, which is a queer Muslim memoir. Next we have Rick by Alex Gino, which is an ace arrow coming of age story. Next we have You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson, which is prom courts but to the extreme. And finally we have Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo, which has to do with half-sisters living in different countries and how they come together. And there we have it. As I said, I've done seven other versions of this challenge and they are linked down below if you would like to see what else I've recommended. Have you read any of these books or do you have any recommendations for me? Let me know about it down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. If you don't feel like leaving a comment but want to make sure that I know you were here, just leave me an emoji or a smiley face if you're on your keyboard. Some people have asked if there's a way to financially support this channel, so I set up a coffee account, which is a digital tipping service. The link for that is down below, as well as the link to my PayPal and my Amazon wishlist in case you would like to buy me a book. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye!